my channel. Today we'll be experiencing Turkey. Turkey is a country which is lying partly in Asia and partly in Europe. Its official name is the Republic of Turkey, and Turkey means Land of Turks. It shares borders with Greece and Bulgaria to the northwest, the Black Sea to the north, Georgia to the northeast, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Iran to the east, Iraq to the southeast, Syria and the Mediterranean Sea to the south, and the Aegean Sea to the west. Many important events in the history of Christianity happened in places that are now in Turkey. That's why my dad went there several times with his pilgrimage groups. A few years ago, my parents visited Turkey again, but just for vacation this time. So this video will be their throwback travel from 20th century and 21st century. Again, it is a country I've never been to, but since my childhood, I've seen many pictures of it. So I feel like as if I were traveling there myself. Let's go to the capital of the country first. The capital of Turkey is Ankara, which is very modern and the second largest city of the country. It was made the capital of Turkey in 1923, but is packed with history and culture from Roman remains to Ottoman castles. Ottoman Empire was an empire created by Turkish tribes in Anatolia that grew to the one of the most powerful states in the world during the 15th and 16th centuries. It was founded at the end of the 13th century in northwestern Anatolia by the Turkoman tribal leader Osman I. This doll depicts a woman spinning wool during the Ottoman period. The Ottoman period spanned more than 600 years and came to an end only in 1922. Istanbul, the largest city, is the financial center of the country. The most famous tourist attraction of Istanbul is Hagia Sophia, which is also called Church of the Holy Wisdom or Church of the Divine Wisdom. It is an important Byzantine structure in Istanbul and one of the world's great monuments. It was built as a Christian church in the 6th century. In subsequent centuries, it became a mosque, a museum, and a mosque again. The view of Cappadocia landscape looks amazing. Cappadocia lies in central Anatolia, which is also called Asia Minor. It is the peninsula of land that today constitutes the Asian portion of Turkey. Because it's located at the point where the continents of Asia and Europe meet, from the beginning of civilization, Anatolia was a crossroads for numerous peoples migrating or conquering from either continent. This is a traditional Anatolian doll, and this must be a traditional shoe. Gurem has been voted one of the most beautiful villages in the world by several travel magazines. The village is half buried into the hill, its stone house facades hiding a maze of cave rooms below. These photos show the Zelf Open Air Museum in Cappadocia. The settlement began life as a monastery in the 9th century and was a thriving village by the 20th century. The village had to be abandoned in 1952 because of erosion and rockfall dangers. Now the entire valley is a museum. This is the entrance of the Derinkuyu underground city. It is an ancient multi-level underground city, which is large enough to have sheltered as many as 20,000 people together with their livestock and food stores. It is the largest excavated underground city in Turkey and is one of several underground complexes found throughout Cappadocia. Pamukkale means cotton castle in Turkish. 
It is a natural site in southwestern Turkey and it's famous for a carbonate mineral left by the flowing of thermal spring water. My dad was there several times since 1980s and my mom went there with him in 1991. This is my mom dipping her feet into the thermal water. There were tiny little fishes in the water that nibbles away callus from people's feet. I think it was in 2012 or 2013 when my parents visited Turkey again. This time they went there just for vacation. First they went to Izmir, which is the third most populous city in Turkey. Izmir has over 3,000 years of recorded urban history and up to 8,500 years of history as a human settlement since the Neolithic period. My parents had on one day trip to Ephesus, which used to be an ancient Greek city on the coast of Ionia. The city is famous for the nearby temple of Artemis, which is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. For most of the last 3,000 years, people thought that Homer's Iliad was fiction and that Troy never existed. Then, in 1863, a British expatriate named Frank Culver discovered ancient ruins in Turkey and was convinced they were Troy. And in 1868, Heinrich Schliemann showed up, provided money for more digging, and took credit for discovering Troy. My parents took a picture in front of the Trojan horse. Of course, it's not the original one, which was made from wood. They went to Bergama as well. The city was the ancient Greek and Roman cultural center of Pergamon. Its ancient ruins have been attracting many tourists until today, although its famous temple has been moved to the Pergamon Museum in Berlin in Germany. Turkish cuisine is largely the heritage of Ottoman cuisine, which can be described as a fusion or refinement of Mediterranean, Balkan, Middle Eastern, Central Asian, Eastern European, and Armenian cuisines. What is the national dish of Turkey? It is hard to say, because every region has its own unique one. But it is a wheat country. The various forms of wheat are consumed in Turkey. The most consumed wheat product is the bread. Especially simit is very popular. It's like a Turkish bagel. The second most consumed wheat product is bulgur, which is a cereal food made from the cracked, cobbled growths of several different wheat species, most often from durum wheat. The most famous Turkish food outside of Turkey is duna kebab. Actually, kebabs are various cooked meat dishes in Middle Eastern cuisine, but in foreign country, many people think of the fast food with sliced meat and vegetables in a white bread. Lamakun is like a Turkish pizza, a thin piece of dough topped with minced meat, minced vegetables, and herbs, including onions, garlic, tomatoes, red peppers, and parsley, and spices such as chili pepper, paprika, and cinnamon, then baked. Lamakun is often wrapped with vegetables, and unlike pizza, it's not usually prepared with cheese and the crust is thinner. Turkish ice cream and baklava are popular desserts. This week, I tried to make cabbage rolls in Turkish style. See you in the kitchen!
you for watching this video and see you next Friday. Bye!